it is back. And I'm gonna stick you up there so that we can go for a bit of a cruise. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and another daily vlog. How are you all doing? If you watched yesterday's video right to the end, you would have seen that I was very, very excited about driving my Mini back here. I am starting the daily vlog on Thursday. Even though this video is going live on Saturday, the daily vlog has started at 20 past six on the 27th of August. And the reason is because, ladies and gentlemen, my R8, is back on Supercars of London. <laughs> Look at it, it's back and it looks so good. It looks amazing. I was driving back, Stuart drove it back on the SB race engineering trade plate and I was following it going, that looks amazing. And just looking at it now, I am really excited. What is happening right now is I'm just gonna show you a little bit about the car now that I've got it back, talk to you about why I've got it back. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to come back to SB Race Engineering and go for one last drive before Southern Sky Motors come and pick this car up. So I've got the key. Let's go and jump in and I'll talk to you a little bit about why this car is back. Look at it. The interior is scrubbed up nicely, a few dirty marks there, and we've got the tray plates in there. And this is still from the aspect valeting detail that happened, getting this car ready for sale back in July. And it is still looking pristine. I have to admit, it looks really, really nice. I can't believe I'm sat back in the R8. Oh, it feels weird. It feels really weird. We've got the manual gearbox. This is a raw car and you can tell by the smile that I'm, I'm glad to have it back briefly before it goes off to Southern Sky Motors. So the reason that it is back is the guys that were trying to sell it for about a month whilst I was in Portugal and then over the summer had no luck. No one was calling and I didn't publicize where it was. A few people, a few of you guys found it online, but I wasn't publicizing about where it is. However, now the Lamborghini dream is becoming a reality and I will be picking up my Gallardo LP560-4 from Southern Sky Motors very, very soon. I don't know exactly when it is. However, they are coming to collect this car and they're gonna be stocking it as a car for sale. So if you wanna buy this car, then head over to Southern Sky Motors and register your interest now. This car is really, really good, really, really nicely specced. It's got the nav, it's got the interior carbon, it's got the exterior carbon, it's got a really nice silver carbon titanium feel, but I suppose you can wrap it in whatever color you want. You can change the colors to whatever, you can change the wheels to whatever color. So this is how I'm starting the vlog in two days time, which is really confusing, but anyway, I was about to sign off there, but I don't need to sign off. The next clip you're gonna see is tomorrow, Friday the 28th of August. So I'm sorry to confuse a lot of you guys, but the R8 is back and I'm excited. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing? I feel like I'm starting the vlog again, but I have already started it last night. This is the first time it's ever happened that I've started a vlog two days before it actually gets uploaded. Anyway, I am up, video is edited. I'm confused already about how today's gonna go anyway. I'm headed over to SB to do one final drive with my Audi R8 V8. From one car to another, ladies and gentlemen, it is back. And I'm gonna stick you up there so that we can go for a bit of a cruise. Gotta find the seat belt. Ready? <laughs> It sounds so funny compared to army tricks. And a manual gearbox. Woo! <laughs> I'm getting funny looks. This is weird driving this car. Just the seating position. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and put the seating position down a bit. I tell you what. This is a cool part to my vlog. Back in the RA, baby. <laughs> the steering is about as heavy as the Mini Cooper. Look at the view you get in the rear view. The suspension is obviously a lot harder.
Put my foot down. It's quick. Whoa. I could just drive it around and have some fun. So we're gonna get onto some smoother roads now. Hopefully that will help out with the st stability of my suction cup. So like I said yesterday, this is going to Southern Sky Motors as a part exchange to the Lamborghini, which makes the whole process a lot easier. It also gives me this opportunity to drive it one last time. And albeit brief, it's nice to get behind the wheel of it again. I've missed it. Have you guys missed it? Woo -hoo! It does just take off. I can't imagine what the Lambo's power is going to be like. I'm jumping from 420 brake horsepower to 560. This is so much fun. I'm just enjoying the moment and I hope you guys are as well. You definitely need an exhaust system on the Audi R8 V8 because the car is brilliant. It is brilliant in every single way, but it just lacks sound. I'll tell you what, the next owner of this car is going to have so much fun. And I've got used to the manual gearbox pretty quickly actually. I'm quite impressed. So I'm pulling up to Watford Audi now. I've also looked at my video camera. I have got about 40 minutes of battery left. So here we go, here's Watford Audi. It's huge here absolutely huge but they've got some cool cars some cool stock um, so let's head inside see if they've got any r8s i'm not going to vlog any of my trip to london you have seen me get a train too many times so i think i'm going to leave that leave the video camera on charge so that when i get back there's my parking space right there oh, all right i'm gonna park next to the r8 the v10 spider So here we go, we are arriving back for the second time at Watford Audi. You'll be able to see it in the uh, rear view, not rear view, out this window, around now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can see it now. Um, no, I don't think they've got anything exciting. The R8's still there, the R8 V10 is still there. Also got an RS Q3 there for £33,000 in the red. <laughs> I think that's quite expensive for that car. I'm gonna park here. And we are out of here, ladies and gentlemen. That was the longest, oh, it says I'm on fuel reserve. Well, I can't remember what time I came here. Half three, it's quarter to six. And it is time to do a food shop, which is not interesting enough to feature on today's vlog unfortunately i need to plan this weekend the videos that i'm doing i'm meeting up with sam tomorrow we're going to be shooting a video doing a bit of car shopping to try and um, not put miles on our main cars or main youtube channel cars so we're going to be doing a bit of car shopping it's going to be an idiots go car shopping video but i'm also going to be filming an F1 video, more practice so that I can get a little bit better at the game, ready for Monza, which is in two weeks time or a week and a half's time. So that's happening over the weekend, and I am also filming down at Watford Audi Monday evening for the midnight launch. So that's going to be a lot of fun, and those are just some of the videos coming soon. And for everyone that keeps tuning in, tweeting me, and asking me when the Lamborghini collection video is happening, it is going to be happening next week so make sure that you're tuned in and keep your eyes peeled for that that is it for today i hope you've enjoyed it it's been a lot of time spent in the mini which i suppose isn't a bad thing it's a cool car and i hope you enjoyed yesterday's review that being said thank you for watching and thank you for your support as always i look forward to seeing you tomorrow for an extended bank holiday weekend here in the uk which means no one is at work on monday 
I'm sure there are people at work on Monday, but apparently it's supposed to be a holiday. I don't know, but what I do know is they're going to be continuing to be daily vlogs on the Supercars and on the YouTube channel. Bring it on. Interior, interior, engine, and do a bit of a first impressions review of this car because it's the first time that I've driven a Mini, so I thought that I would do such a video today 